Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Terrain Showcase. I have a set of Eldar themed jungle terrain. So the client just basically gave me that as the guidelines and so I had artistic uh, license for the whole project. The other thing he kind of wanted was a few hoodoos in the jungle so I made this large version and the smaller version here. And then there is this actual built version of a platform for the Eldar, and then these are uh, wraith bone that are growing out of the jungle. And then we have a few rock outcroppings, and then just a few uh, just jungly pieces here, just to spread around. So there is some pathways to get some miniatures on the actual pieces, but generally they're more uh, li li line of sight blocking pieces and uh, just general theme pieces for the whole set. So I will jump the camera off the tripod here and we'll zoom around and check them all out. Starting with this rock outcropping here. Got a few bigger bushes in it. I used uh, quite a variety of colors and quite a variety of bushes over top of my initial flocking layer. There's a variety of different colored uh, flowers in here. That one's the yellow version. Moving to this larger, larger guy. He's got some vines growing up him. There's a blue version of the uh, flowers there. So I tried to make it look really jungly. You know, you gotta have a quite a bit of foliage, I think, to make it look pretty jungly. I have <clears throat> a variety of colors going, so it gives a gives a good sense of not just one monotone large green thing there is a lot of these guys but just kind of I was kind of running out of supplies here for this project but it all worked out good there's one of the pink guys it's more fine growing up that guy I was actually hiding some some work there so there's the larger hoodoo here it actually has two separate hoodoos some stuff growing in the middle slowly eroding away and that one's eroded away a lot more. The bush is coming out, that bush there is coming out really orange, I mean the red, but it's, uh, it's, it's orange. Some of them have multiple um, wraith bone pieces sticking out. Another one of the rock outcroppings. couple vines growing up in. Oh, then we have some small just foliage pieces. These are a combination of two plants stuck together and I've, I was clipping clipping plants all last night so these are just some trees that I've had laying around. You know just a couple trees in the set. Smaller ones. It's all modular again so you don't have the you know, play with the same set the exact same way every time. You can always commission me to build more and add on so I can easily do that with any custom set that I build. And finally we have this like centerpiece type of guy. It's got this ruined raised platform. It's on almost like a 12 by 12 inch guy. It's raised up there. That dais is kind of hidden in the middle there. It's got a rock in the back here. Yeah. So that's that guy. So I think that's the whole set there. Checked it out. It's got some nice color, nice and variety. I could easily build a lot more. Uh, structural, uh, I guess like built pieces by the Eldar to add to this set, you know, it would be nice, but right now it's more of a organic set with the organic pieces being these uh, rock outcroppings and the hoodoos and these guys, and then these guys are kind of more organic, but they are Eldar themed because there's big wraith bone pieces. So if you're interested in getting a custom 
terrain set commissions, you can email me at info at greenleafterrain.com and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I also do commission painting on miniatures, so you can get a quote for that too. Um, I generally don't mind if clients give me, uh, or it's great actually, sorry, I don't mean to say that, uh, it's great if a client gives me uh, full details of what they want, but if you give me a a general idea of what you want, so this is a Eldar jungle set, and then you have a budget, um, sometimes I put a little bit more effort into it, so basically this is a little bit more expensive set than the client paid for, but it just what happened to be, you know, this is what I wanted to, it to look like, and, you know, that's what the client's going to get. So sometimes if you give me artistic license, you get a little bit more than you paid for. So I'll have more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and happy Wargaming.